Yo, what's good boys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use four super valuable CRT effects. Three of these are going to be completely free and usable in After Effects. And then one of these is going to be an unsponsored plugin that I really like using. Right over here, it's just this CRT emulator. Quite a few different styles that I'm going to be breaking down in this video. I think that these are super useful, like I said. And the purpose of doing this is to speed up your workflow as best as you possibly can while maintaining high quality so that you guys can attract as many music video clients as possible if you guys want to save time and money while editing check out the complete chaos bundle at jmovfx.com for over a hundred great effects including collages drawing animations and paper effects but enough talking let's just get right into this so i'll just go over the paid plugin real quick again this is not sponsored but this is definitely a great thing to utilize here so this is what the clip looks like before and then this is what the clip looks like after and then once i applied this preset on here i went ahead and recorded it on my phone and then re-uploaded it and put it in the music video and that just kind of added kind of an extra layer of digital distortion that seemed a little bit more realistic um so literally all you have to do it's super easy you just click on your layer right here and then you click on whichever style you want um, and it kind of gives you a little preview of what this looks like. So if you click on style four right here, I kind of like how this one looks. I'll just click on my layer and click apply effect. And it's really easy just like that. And off rip, I actually kind of don't like how it looks. So no worries, you can just click back and then click on your layer again. Try a different one out. So I'll try style 11 click apply effect and then if you don't like how the circles look you can uncheck this and use the rectangles and then if you want to improve how this looks you can decrease the resolution and that's just gonna kind of squeeze those together or you can get rid of that altogether. you can add on some glitches um, which you know I really like how that looks and then you can increase or decrease the exposure just like that um, you can increase the noise level and then you can add on a little tv border and then once you kind of like how it looks you click complete and just like that you have this crt effect really simple and easy um, and then finally the next thing that you want to do that i like to do is create a new adjustment layer and then add on this effect called optics compensation and then you're just going to increase the field of view to kind of get that slight you know tv kind of look then you're going to highlight these two layers together pre-compose them with Control shift c click these two right here click ok and then just scale this up and if i'm going a little bit too fast for you guys don't worry i'm trying to go at my own speed so that you guys can you know kind of match that um because i want you guys to get really fast at editing music videos because the faster that you can get while maintaining quality will increase your annual income very greatly um you know i've been able to make a really good living off of editing music videos for clients over the last few years um, and i really want that for you guys as well if you guys increase the quality of your music videos and then increase the speed at which you can edit like me you know it's really not that hard so yeah let's just move on to the next one so for this next one right here you can do this very easily with built-in plugins so this next effect right here is this one um as you can see once i add on just a few of these effects i can create this really nice kind of heavy distorted crt slash camcorder effect um, this is one of my favorites to use and i forgot to mention right here what i did is i stretched the bottom layer out i think that adds an extra layer of kind of weirdness and distortion so all you have to do is literally just stretch this out like that and it, it kind of looks a bit wonky and weird and this is definitely a style that i like but also that clients are really gravitating towards right now in the industry so i definitely recommend that you guys pick up on this and if you guys really want to speed up your workflow make sure that you're editing in quarter instead of full um, and then as well this is going to give you some different type looks right here um, and this is a great example of where you can record this part on your phone as well and then send it back into the music video. That's just going to add, again, another extra layer of digital distortion. As you can see, you have kind of these weird, funky CRT lines that are coming up down here. That kind of creates another kind of level of digital synth alteration right there. So what you can do is highlight all of your layers and then do Control shift c And then, you know, you can duplicate this layer and then maybe mask that bottom piece out um, 
and then scale it up, resize it, you know, put it up here, put it in the middle. Um, and you know, that can also create a nice effect right there. And so the way that I got this effect is I added on this Venetian blinds effect right here. Um, and then I set the transition completion to 11%, set the direction to 90 degrees. Um, and I, by the way, I actually picked this up from editing visuals. Check out their channel. It's two guys um, that are really good at making these kind of this kind of style of effect and they created this really cool camcorder effect so i commented on that video and i was like this is really cool and i'm using it in this video because i, I want to teach you guys how to do it as well um and then the next thing that you want to do is add on another adjustment layer and on this one under full quality i'll show you just add it on fast box fast box blur i just changed some of the values here so blur radius on one iterations on three you can kind of leave that how it is default and then unsharp mask um, i turned that up you can really blast this up and see basically this is what it looks like without and this is what it looks like with it and that's going to add a lot of extra detail in there that i definitely recommend you use and then the next thing that i added on is wave warp on this adjustment layer this is just as you can see going to add some slight little variation and warps in those lines you know really simple really slight just copy these values i just changed the wave height wave width wave speed and so this is kind of where they ended it in the editing visuals tutorial uh, but what i went ahead and did is just duplicated this adjustment layer that we just did and as you can see that creates this really great looking almost like th that old instagram filter meme if you know what i'm talking about and i think that that fits in really really great with uh, this new style of video editing that has kind of hit the industry. So yeah, that's that effect. And now let's just move on to the next one. On top of this, if you guys want to check out my complete CRT pack on my website, this comes with 50 glitch transitions and 50 CRT textures. So what we can do is go in here and then just slap on a random CRT texture. And then we just set the blending mode to screen just like that. Um, and then we can bring this right above and this can add some interesting looks. If you want to change how this looks, you know, you can reverse it or you can pull up the opacity by selecting your layer and clicking T on your keyboard and then just bring down the opacity to something lower. You can definitely get some really cool looks. I'll show some examples up on the screen of what this looks like with different CRT overlays from the pack. And then again, if you look at this, I just added on this other overlay from my pack. If you wanna screen record this or you know record this on your phone and then re-upload it to your video, that's another great thing to do. So now moving on to the next effect, this is gonna be utilizing some CRT glitch overlays. So if you guys, again, wanna check out the CRT pack on my site it comes with a bunch of crt overlays or if you guys just want to download some free ones from youtube definitely do that so say i want to transition from these two clips what i can do right here is i can add one of these overlays in here so say for example this 134 which i really like um, i'm just going to go to toggle switches and modes change the blending mode to add or screen i think add is better um, and I'll scale this up. First off, starting off, we have something that looks like that. So, you know, doesn't look very good yet, but what we can do is pre-comp all of these layers together. Do control shift C, move all attributes into the new composition. And then on this layer, we'll add on the built-in displacement map effect. And then we'll change the displacement map layer input to pre-comp number three, which is this transition layer. And if you want to rename that, just click enter on your keyboard when you have that layer selected and then change that to transition. And then now, once you set that as your input on this bottom layer, if you just want to displace this to the glitch transition, as you see, you're going to get a really nice glitch transition right there as you can see and you can also keyframe this stuff in and you can move this and have this do all sorts of weird wonky stuff but that is a really cool unique technique 
that I like using for a lot of music videos. And then as well, if you guys want to spice it up even more, you could add a adjustment layer and then add on RSMB for some extra motion blur, just to kind of get rid of some of that. Um, and as you can see here with the motion blur applied, that's just gonna make it look even crazier. I mean, look at that. And again, this looks completely different on quarter quality as it does in full quality. And you can really play around with the quality of all of these to just get some different unique looks. Cool, so yeah, that kind of sums up this effect right here. And then now the last effect that I wanna show you guys how to do is I'm gonna start off by closing out my CRT emulator extension. Then I'll go up to my other extensions and then just add in Motion Bro 4.5, dock this right there, and then um, you guys can download these. You can download over 200 different really unique transitions right here for, I think it's $3. You can get all 200 of these transitions. You know, I lied. I said it was free, but you know, $3. If you're not willing to spare $3 to get 200 really great transitions, I don't know what you're doing, bro. So this is super simple. All you have to do is select your layer and then click apply over here. And as you can hear, it comes with sound effects as well. And then it just creates a nice little adjustment layer for you that you can customize. And just like that, you have, boom, a transition right there like that. Boys, this is super useful. I just dropped a ton of sauce in this video. If you guys wanna check out my website, make sure to support the channel. Check it out. Everything on there is made to save you as much time as possible and to help attract as many clients as possible and not just low quality ones, but high quality ones as well. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. God bless, peace out.